Chapter 5 Inserting Features Guys, you learnt editing, undo, redo and applying bullets options in earlier chapter. We will start next chapter inserting features in MS Word 2010. Following lesson objectives are How to learn insert pictures and clip art How to applying 3D styles in documents and how to insert word art in documents. Okay, begin with a brief discussion about in MS Word 2010. Some children may have computers at home. When you are creating a document, you need to add pictures, objects, tables, cover page, etc. MS Word 2010 provides all these facilities to design documents more attractively. Pictures and tables are helps you to highlight the important parts of the document. Then we will make how to insert picture. Inserting pictures. Microsoft Word is one of the most widely used parts of Office software. It can be used to create rich and colorful documents where one can insert pictures, clip art, smart art, charts, etc. The latest versions of Office software make it very easy for users to accomplish this. There are menu driven options from where one can easily insert pictures in a Word document. In this case, one can use the insert menu. After inserting the picture, one can manipulate the size of the image, the color or even the quality of the image. When you insert pictures from a file, follow these steps. Click where you want to insert the picture. Click on picture in the illustrations group on the insert tab. Select the picture that you want to insert from the insert picture window. Click on insert or double click on the picture. Clip art. Clip art is a collection of pictures available with MS Word. If you want to insert clip art, do the following steps. Click on Clip Art in Illustration group on Insert tab. In the search for text box on Clip Art task pane, type a word or phrase that describes the clip art that you want or type the file name of the clip art. Click on Go. In the list of results, click on the clip art picture to insert it. Friends, using the options in this ribbon, you can edit your picture beautifully. Adjust group. Click the pictures that you want to create transparent areas in. Under picture tools on the format tab in the adjust group, click color. Adjust group on the format tab under picture tools. Click set transparent color and then click the color in the picture or image that you want to make transparent. After you have inserted the object, you can change it in many ways. Make sure it is selected. Click on it once to do the following. To adjust brightness or contrast of a picture, select the picture and click on the corrections button in the adjust group under format tab. Then select any option from the drop down list. To adjust the sharpness of a picture, you can use sharpen and soften in corrections option. To adjust sharpness, Select the picture and click on corrections option. Then select any options under sharpen and softens from the drop down list. You can change the color option from the adjust group to change color saturation, color tone, grayscale, sepia, etc. Click color button and select desired option from the drop down list. Picture styles group. MS Office Word is generally used for writing text. However, you may like to insert pictures as well because it can help in making the document illustrative as well as interesting. This is the reason we shall provide you with the right steps that can help in inserting pictures in your Word file. MS Word offers several options for changing the way images appear in your document. For example, you can add a frame, make image corrections, change the image color or brightness and even add some stylish artistic effects. These options are located in the Adjust and Picture Styles group on the Format tab. This group contains a variety of styles you can apply to your picture 
such as frames, borders and soft edges. Picture Styles Group helps you to choose the overall visual styles and apply visual effects to your picture. Click on more down arrow in the Picture Styles Group and select a style from the drop down list. Then you can see the relevant changes on the picture. You can modify outline color using theme color and standard color from picture border option. You can also change outline weight, thickness of border, dashes, outline style from the picture border option on format tab. To apply visual effects to the picture such as shadow, glow, reflection or 3D rotation, click picture effects in picture styles group and select options from drop down list. Arrange group. In Word, a page may have multiple objects such as pictures, shapes and text boxes. You can arrange the objects the way you want by aligning, ordering, rotating and grouping them in various ways. You can determine the position of the picture or object in a page. Click on the down arrow of position option in the arrange group from format tab and select options from position drop down list. When you point over the options in the position drop down list, changes will appear to the picture automatically. Text is automatically set to wrap around the object. MS Word 2010 enables you to wrap text easily around pictures, shapes and tables with any position or style that you want. To wrap a text, select the picture, then click on the wrap text option from the arrange group and select a wrapping style from the drop down list. You can align the edges of selected objects. Here is arranged without any alignment. To align these pictures, click on the down arrow of align in the arrange group and select align top option from the drop down list. To select multiple objects in MS Word, Press and hold shift or control button while selecting. You can group shapes, pictures or other objects. Grouping lets you rotate, flip, move or resize all shapes or objects at the same time as though they were a single shape or object. You can also change the attributes of all the shapes in a group at one time by adding a shape fills or shape effect for example. You can select an item within a group and apply an attribute without ungrouping the shapes or you can create groups within groups to help you build complex drawings. You can also ungroup a group of shapes at any time and then regroup them to bring an object to the front or back. If you want to move an object behind or in front of several objects, it's usually faster to bring it to friend and send it to back instead of clicking the ordering commands multiple times. Select an object, the format tab will appear. From the format tab, click the bring forward or send backward drop down box. From the drop down menu, select bring to friend or send to back. Size group. The size group helps you resize the picture by increasing or decreasing width and height and to remove unwanted part of the picture. To remove unwanted part of the picture, click on crop in the size group on format tab. You can change height or width of the selected pictures of shape by entering values in the shape height and shape width text box on size group. Insert shapes. You can add ready-made shapes into Word document. The available shapes in MS Word includes lines, basic geometric shapes, arrows, equation shapes, flowchart shapes, stars, banners, callouts, etc. When you insert a shape into document, you will get a new tab and ribbon named Drawing Tools. You can edit the shapes with different groups on the Format tab under Drawing Tools. To insert a shape, follow these steps. Click Shapes in the Illustrations group or the Insert tab. Select Desired Shape from the Shapes drop-down list. Drag the mouse pointer to draw the shape. You can add a variety of shapes to your document including arrows, callouts, squares, stars and flowchart shapes. Want to set your name and address apart from the rest of your resume? Use a line. Need to create a diagram showing a timeline or a process? Use flowchart shapes. In this lesson, 
you will learn how to insert a shape and format it by changing its fill color, outline color, shape style and shadow effects. Additionally, you will learn how to apply 3D effects to shapes. To change the shape style, select the shape. The format tab appears. Click the more drop down arrow in the shape styles group to display more style options. Move your cursor over the styles to see a live preview of the style in your document. Select the desired style. To change the shape fill color, select the shape. The format tab appears. Select the format tab. Click the shape fill command to display a drop down list. Select the desired color from the list. Choose no fill or choose more fill colors to choose a custom color. To change the shape outline, select the shape. The format tab appears. Click the format tab. Click the shape outline command to display a drop down menu. From the drop down menu, you can change the outline, color, weight, thickness and whether it is a dashed line. To change shadow effects, select the format tab. Click the shape effects command. A drop down menu will appear. Hover your mouse over shadow. You will see a list of shadow presets. Move your mouse over the menu options to see a live preview of the shadow effect in your document. Click the desired shadow effect to add it to your sheet. You can select shadow options from the drop down menu and click the color button to select a different shadow color for your shape. Change shape. It is used to change the shape of drawing without changing the formatting you have given to the shape. To change the shape, select edit shape from insert shapes group under format tab and click on the change shape icon and select a shape from the appropriate window. Draw text box. It is used to draw a text box anywhere in the document. To draw a text box, select text box on insert shapes group from format tab and drag anywhere in the document to draw the text box. When you insert a text box, you can format it by changing its fill color, outline color and shape style. Word out. Hi guys, it's very interesting option. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert a word art in Word 2010. Word art is text that is created and formatted as a shape. Therefore, when formatting word art, you can use the formatting techniques applied to standard text as well as techniques applied to shapes. We added some text to an auto shape. The text we added was just plain text which was then formatted with the font of our choosing. Another option is to use word art. We'll explore that in this lesson. To insert word art in Word 2010, click into the document at the position at which you want to insert the word art. Next, click the insert tab in the ribbon and then click the word art button within the text group. This will display a colorful list of word art styles for you to choose from in a drop down list menu. Click on a style that you will like to select it. Word will automatically insert the word art into your document. You can then immediately type the text that you would like your word art to display. After typing the text for the word art to display, click outside of the bounding box of the word art back into the document to set its display. To edit the text, click and drag over the text to change and then type your new text. Word art styles. You can change the look of a word art by changing its color, line style or weight. You can apply a quick style, collections of formatting options that make formatting your documents and objects easier. By clicking on the more button in the word art styles group. Text fill. It is used to change the selected word art text with a solid color or gradient. To apply fill effect to a word art text with color or gradient, Click on the arrow of the text fill icon from the word art styles group. Then select a desired color or style from the drop down list. Text outline. It is used to change color, weight, dashes and pattern of outline. Select an outline style for word art text from text outline icon on the word art styles group. Text effects. It is used to change the overall text effects of the word art. To change the text effects, select the word art 
and click on the text effects icon from the word art styles group then select an effect from the drop down list you can modify the word art more attractively by applying effects such as transform effect 3d rotation effect etc to apply 3d rotation effect select the word art style then click on the text effects button from word art styles group and select a 3d rotation style from the drop down list you can also apply transform be well and glow effects by clicking on the respective styles text group how to change text direction in word here are some tips for you to modify text direction to change the direction of text using a text box or shape insert a text box using the text box tool in the text section of the insert tab or a shape using the shapes tool in the illustrations group of the insert tab and a text into the text box or shape make sure the text box or shape is selected and click the format tab under drawing tools before we change the text direction we should decide where we want to change the direction of your text inserting symbols you may have noticed that some of the symbols used in documents are not available on the standard keyboard such as copyright symbols trademark symbols paragraph marks unicode characters etc microsoft word makes these available with symbol drop down list in the symbols group on insert tab if you click on more symbols in the drop down list you will get a symbol window here you can insert the symbol from this window